Hello. Hello, good uh, afternoon. I just, uh, I will talk uh, about the idea. Uh, first, uh, I, I, I want to uh, thanks to the organization and in special to Rustan to invite me to give this, this talk. So we will start it to, to talk about the Abadia. The, the title of the talk is a little long, but uh, it's about how to use reformer learning to play and solve the AB of, of crime. Okay, so let's go uh, first, very fast. Uh, I am the Chief Ambitioning Officer at Singular. Uh, this uh, role is, is amazing because I am working or trying to define what will be the, the future. Uh, I also GDE, World GDE, uh, World Developer Expert for Cloud and Machine Learning. This is uh, an honor for me to, to be uh, mentioned like, like this. And also I am the, uh, the chief leader of the uh, Abadia project. At the beginning, I, I wrote all the time, or I say that I was the team leader, but at the end, I, uh, I am more near than be a, a team leader than be a real team leader. It's a, a very funny team. Okay, also I wrote a, a book uh, about the software. I was, or I am the former president of this Palinus, or, or I involved in, in the organization of uh, a couple of meetups uh, about AI, cloud, and now even quantum co computing. So what we will see? This is very important for me to, to try to define what is the, the objective of, of this talk. And the talk will be a, a, about what is my travel when I, I try to start a, a, an AI project. For, for me, and, and I think for a lot of people, when you go to an AI uh, talk or presentation, you see only, uh, or, or you, uh, my, my feeling is about, I only got the final part of, of, the, of the project. But in this talk, uh, I, would, I would like to show you what was my travel trying to do uh, and, uh, AI project, okay? Because it's important for everybody to to understand how uh, you are, how is the beginning of the project, what is the, the step in, in, in the project, and this is what uh, I will talk about, about my experience doing a, an AI project, okay? So how the, the, the project started? This is very important because sometimes happens uh, in in every in every way uh, or can happen in, in in many ways. But that happened with a lot of beers. I was drinking with my friend and some of my buddies Sebas told me something like, "It's possible to play an AI that can learn to play and solve the body of crime, of crime." And a lot of time I say, oh, I don't know if uh, I don't know if uh, I will be uh, able to do it or 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 not. But when they say, I say just yes, yes, we will do it. And and start beginning doing the uh, this day start the uh, the project. So let me talk a little about the, the game. The game the name of the game is the Aviat the Crime. It's based in a famous book uh, from Umberto Eco. Perhaps you see the, uh, um, the uh, Sin Connery movie. And it's a kind of legend of the video game because it was the first uh, 3D, force uh, 3D, but uh, one of the, the first one, and, and for me, it's very special because I know a lot of people that play this game it was uh, a kind of legend in, in Spain, in, even in, in Europe, okay? So, uh, things that I think that are important. The first one is the size of the, of the program, yeah. 
for me, this is uh, uh, amazing because it's only 87 kilobyte, and that include include the uh, include the, the code, the graphic, the music, the map. So that's only for for uh, showing what is about uh, 87 kilobyte. This is uh, an avatar, an avatar from me, but. In this, uh, in the same side, you you have all these informations in in the game, and and also, this is the uh, the team. It, this is uh, important too because uh, now when you have a game, a, a computer game, you have uh, teams with uh, 200, 500 people working on this, and in this case, in this case, it was only two. Uh, Two people, uh, Francisco Paco Menendez and, and Juan Del Can. And this is amazing because one was the, the programmer and the another guy was the, the, uh, the uh, creative designer. And with only these two cases, they, they did uh, the, the game. Okay. Uh, also, was a uh, programming uh, using Assembler, and that was for Astra CPC and Sinclair Spectrum, Spectrum, and that's a, a little intro, uh, introduction about the game. What's the 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 plan? In every project, you, you need to have a, a one plan because if you don't have a one plan, you don't know uh, where you will uh, end it. Okay, so the plan is so easy. It's just making an AI that can learn to play and solve the, the game. This is important because uh, if you don't have this objective, and you don't have a, a plan, you you are in, in a trouble. Uh, what do we have to to do uh, this plan? The first thing is we started with uh, uh, the original executable. The original executable was in a audio tape, and there was a guy, Manuel Abadia. Abadia is just a coincidence. Uh, his last name is Abadia, like the name of the project. Uh, but that's, but this guy uh, was uh, uh, work a lot just disassembling the original game, make a, a, a redevelop for humans, a put a lot of comment and make the, the base of the uh, of the final uh, project. Okay, uh, we have a GitHub with all the information, but his work was uh, really important for, because with this we have access to the original uh, code of the of the game in assembler, but uh, the linear one. The next part for uh, was that we we had uh, uh, Abadia, Manuel Abadia and Sebas working together and they pour this assembly uh, code to C++ uh, to, to try to run the game in, in uh, personal computer platform or, or whatever, okay? So they migrate all the, all the code, even the, the errors of the uh, all code is implementing in, in C++. And my, my buddy Sebas uh, make a migration to use uh, SDL. SDL is a game platform uh, for, for having portability uh, of the game in, in almost every platform. So yeah, we was able to run the original game in Chrome and PlayStation 3, Linux, MacOS, Windows, and even now we have a, a version that 
run in, in Tesla car. I know that it's a little expensive to, to buy uh, a Tesla car just only to run the all of the again, but if you have a Tesla, you can, there is a little hack because Elon Musk no, uh, was not thinking about running 8 bit games like Cavadia in his cars, but there is a little hack that you can run uh, in the original version, almost the original version of the game in, in a Tesla car. Okay, so this this question is very important too. Uh, how difficult is the, uh, the challenge? This is very important because it's not an easy game. Uh, the number, yeah, just only to, to compare with the with the game, the number of atoms in our universe is ten to the fifty. It's a very big number. The, uh, the number of legacy move are 10 to the 120, and the number of the co gain legal move is about 10 to the 761 moves. And now the, uh, the uh, legal move or all the moves needed to solve the gain of the idea is 10 elevated to 10,000. This is a lot of, of combination, and this is only a, a signal that is not easy to solve the, the game. Okay, I had a slide just to show to the people that is not very good at math places to to put the the number of the series in in a row to to understand how difficult and how many combinations uh, we have. Okay, so the, the another thing is we only know if the game is solved at the 10,000 action. Okay, the reward uh, of the game, uh, only I know is the game is uh, okay and I solved it at the 10,000 action. That's, that's why it's so difficult to, to solve it. Okay. In addition, we had a, a couple of things that make more thought uh, to solve the, the game. In this case, in the left uh, picture, do you see that there is uh, three characters? One is the, the Abad, the, the boss of the uh, Abbey. Uh, the, the guy with the, the VR is the, uh, the main character, Guillermo. And in front of him is uh, his assistant. Sometimes it's not only to, to move about the, uh, the area or try to move, because sometimes the, the people try to say things like the about. Uh, and in another uh, times, we have also in front of me and I cannot advance and all kind of things like this, we need to, to be learned by, by the AI. Even there is funny thing like, is the, uh, is the uh, Abad uh, try to tell you something, you need to stay in, in the place, look his face and hair uh, until he finished, okay? So if not, you die in, in about, uh, half a minute or something like because you uh, didn't pay attention with the with the about okay and in the left picture sometimes it's so crowded the scenes that I cannot move uh, or try to move to to go to my room there is a lot of people even it's a little more complicated in this case we are in the chapel and uh, heading the the offices uh, when they are with the rings, uh, when the bells rings, we need to, to go very fast to the chapel. Uh, if you uh, get into, in the last uh, position, you die. If you not, uh, don't go to the right place into the chapel that is uh, in front or, uh, of your assistant and in the back of the, uh, the another monk, you die. If you didn't pay attention and, and try to look the, the, 
price in the in the chapter you die so almost all the time uh, you need to uh, to understand that you need to make an uh, action that can imply to stay in the right position in the right orientation uh, in, uh, in the right time uh, doing the right action in this case stay uh, 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 at the same position okay so the same is you miss the the diner or the or the lines at uh, a time or even sometimes you need to put the assistant to talk with the uh, guy uh, of the library to get this key this key because if not you cannot access to the key and you know cannot finish as you see this is a, a non easy game for for the uh, uh, humans to, to solve the game. I want to notice that uh, I, I don't know any human that finishes uh, the game without any help, okay? Somebody know some trick uh, and they uh, say this trick to another people or in, in some game uh, magazine, was uh, the solution probably it so there was a lot of sources to to try to understand how to finish in the game but it's not only so out for human also it's so out for ais okay so what is the the first step we need to do because the the people when uh, when think about the ai project think about a lot of things with uh, a lot of grammar, like uh, designing a, a network, network or, or whatever, but uh, that's not uh, the real thing. You, you, you need to do, to do a lot of step before you, you have the opportunity to start designing uh, uh, AI, okay? So let me show some of the first step. Uh, the third one is we need to uh, interact with the game, okay? So we need to play with the game to, um, and we need to make, to design an agent, a agent that will play with the game. So we need to, to make a one, one interface. In fact, we need to to get a lot of the game information, we need to play millions of games to try to train the, the, the agent. Okay, so we need to share action to get game info, reset, replay, and all this thing. What is the, the first version we think with a lot of beer after doing a lot? The first the first takeaway uh, about this slide is it's better not to drink and design in the in the uh, or, or trying to design a, a final solution when you drink a lot. But as you see, this is uh, for me is over engineering. It's the the perfect world that define this picture because we we start in uh, making some fully things like. We can put the game, we can put a uh, physical keyboard um, with the uh, unroll uh, and try to, to make the physical action with keys like go ahead or whatever. And with a quick, uh, with a can, we can try to pro uh, process uh, the, the maze and, and all with this information sent to the, the artificial intelligence to uh, understand what is the next action we need to do. Okay, this is over engineering. Uh, remember this because this is a, a very important takeaway from this door. Try to make the, the thing simple, simple. And this uh, is not a simple solution. And the, the other thing is that solution didn't or don't escalate, okay? It's obvious that we will, we want to 
to play million not gain. This is a very slow, very uh, expensive way to, to try to play game. So at the end, I think a lot about what is the, the best, what's the, the best solution. We uh, discovered that it's something, uh, there is a way really cool to do that. It's really cool because it's simple. We do, we did that every day. So the solution was something simple like embedded the web server inside the game. I am pretty sure that you are, every day you are selling to your customer that you need an API uh, with a REST interface uh, define it to get access to the information, to make action in whatever. So at the end, the solution was with uh, uh, very, very near of that because we use every day something like this. So the final solution was as easy to just to embed a, a web server inside the C++ code. And this was about 50 lines or not more with the template. Yeah, and, and with this, we can have a way to send comments to, to, the, to the game, okay? And uh, at the end, it's a CC as something like this. You can use Python request library, or you can even from command line to, to get the game working for you, just sending options, or sorry, actions, like this, with this, uh, it's a little mess path, but you know who, who is the people, uh, who is the people that that designed the REST interface. And my buddy Sebas is a, a good, a very good uh, professional about this. But the the link or, or the URI is a little long, but you can see what is the the way to just say to the monk that do you want to uh, and rotate to the to the left, just sending a, a REST request like this. Okay, so we can now we can have the, the game in C plus plus. We can send a command to the game engine. Uh, as you can see, we had now uh, usually now we make some demos. Uh, like demos here, but uh, today we will not because I had uh, almost 100 slides for you and I will not do a, a demo for for now, okay? But this is a, a, a little, as you see in the picture, I, I send a command to, to uh, with the command A and they are uh, under monk uh, return to me a JSON file with a lot of information about the, the game. Okay, so we need to to get a lot of information from every action. Uh, we will so why, and this is include the game info, game move, checkpoint to try to restore the 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 game and and not need to, to start from the beginning all, all the time. The machine model learning, uh, the machine learning model that we are training just to, to discover what is the best or, or reload or everything, okay? And for me, uh, all this, uh, all the, almost all the time of the project was, uh, was about gathering uh, information. And, and believe me, it's a lot of time creating tool, creating tests, uh, trying to to do pipeline, try to uh, to store us. You discover very fast that you have not enough space to uh, uh, for storing all the information you are you are got. So you need to start services at the cloud. Uh, I a big fan of Google Cloud, and that's it's obvious. Not only because it's a, a, for me it's the best a cloud platform, but sometimes I feel like uh, Mario Bros because it's a kind of competition to, to smash the bars, to, to try to solve all, all the pro, uh, problems uh, around this. And for me, plumbering is a, a data plumbering or data plan, a pipeline 
Plumberini is uh, the perfect name for, for this. By the way, here I have a funny, a funny takeaway uh, about Mario. Do you know why Mario uh, has this funny hat in, uh, in his head? It's a funny thing because uh, at the beginning of the video games, uh, remember that the uh, Mario was a, a, a few pieces and the, uh, the uh, original animator of, of Mario had a problem with the hair of, the, uh, of Mario. So they put a, a red hat in his, in his uh, head and the problem was out. Okay, so for me it's a very important take away because everybody that know me, when I have a, a problem that is not urgent, I say the a, a kind of sentence like, okay, we can use a red hat to solve the problem. That means we put a red hat over the head and we solve this problem in a near in a near future. Okay, so it's, it's a very important takeaway. Funny one, and I am pretty sure that uh, the people are listening this. Mm, not too much people know this this story, funny story. So uh, now we need a, a place that the name is playground for playing. And I remember uh, clearly what happened with, I had the, the, the game working in, in my machine. I put the, the web server embedding and I had everything and, and I had the tool to uh, uh, start storing the, the, the data from the game. And my very, very first uh, thought was, oh, I want to start to play in million of, of game to start uh, uh, gathering information, to start training uh, the, uh, the AI, AI agent. But the question was that I discovered that there is a thing that is open AI gene that is a kind of uh, normalized play to, to, uh, to normalize its framework more to play games in um, training or, or make uh, the perfect environment or very good one uh, environment to, to training and play games. And, uh, we stop my impulse and design the Abadia playground with open AI gene because it has a lot of very good um, features included. The first one is that every game, uh, ace bit game from Atari or whatever, or chess, uh, has a, almost has a open AI gene. So I can use my AI gene with a, a lot of, of games and, and try to discover if it's, it's a good one agent or not. But the more important thing is that I have a lot of information about agents, model, reformer learning strategies that was implemented for open AI gene. And, and if I had a standardized about the AI gene, I can use this, um, this reformer learning model uh, with my open AI design for the idea. And this is very good, it's very good because in, in a few time, I, I can check a, a lot of things with the idea. And people that don't know what is the internal things about the idea, writing in C++ uh, with an um, bid uh, web server are able to, to do a agent very fast without not knowing almost nothing about the, the Abadia, okay? So it, we spent a, a couple of months or one month more or less working on this, but I'm very, very happy with the result because we also have uh, this, uh, this playground and, and now we can develop it faster and with more people to, is able to, to contribute with us. Okay, so we had 
almost everything to, to start in, to start the the process of of uh, a training uh, an AI. So let me make uh, a small intro about reformer running. This talk, remember, is more about the process and as you see, more than 95% uh, even more of the time, it was about trying to uh, create the gene, uh, designing uh, data, data uh, pipelines and all these things. But at the, uh, at the end, we choose to, to solve uh, this problem with artificial intelligence to use reform and running. So I will tell you a little about uh, reform and running. Okay. Uh, and I only will, will use two slides. And this is important because I can, I can uh, put a lot of information about this, but this is not the, uh, I think with two, slide I can explain almost all you need to to know what is a reform learning. The first one is this slide. This is for me is a, a classic one. You uh, you have an agent. The agent uh, is the uh, the intelligent that try to understand to play to to learn to play and and to train uh, the, the artificial intelligence. So it's very easy because he got the uh, environment. He has a, a number of actions that can play, decide what is the, the best one, send this action to the environment, and all the time the agent receive what is the next step. In, in the, my case, if the monk move ahead or, or died or what about this? And what is the reward that you receive from the, the environment? That's, that's a reward can be based in, in the life you do you have or, or the energy or just the, the final reward that can be lost uh, if you lost, you got uh, uh, minus one. If you are a light got a zero or you win got a, a one. Okay, so the thing is all the time you are playing, you are deciding what action, you are sending this information to, to one environment. In our case, the 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 gain, the gain, the avio of the client gain, okay, and you will recite uh, the reward and, and, and the status, okay, and with this information. You will use a model, or you will see in the few, in the few uh, slides ahead. You will see a, a different uh, strategies to to hold the side what is the next session. But at the end, it's almost all all the time this. Okay, so so now I will show you the net picture with the with the. Uh, and this example of what is reinforcement learning. And this is my favorite one because it's a, a little uh, amazing to, to try to define something that sounds so academic like reinforcement learning with a movie. And this is one of my favorite movies, is uh, the uh, Groundhog Days. Uh, I just didn't remember the name of the of this actor actor but you everybody know him and this is very funny because the, this movie is like uh, the the agent of the reforming learning i know my friend miguel angel uh, miguel angel and jose manuel is is listening this this tour i want to salute to to say hi to then, uh, I'm just telling this because I am sure he has sent me, uh, he will send me a, a, a WhatsApp with the name of, of my favorite actor. I didn't remember the, the name. Okay. So uh, in this case, the movie is about reformer learning. Every morning he, he, uh, he, uh, wake up and he wake up with 
with uh, the same song and he has a lot of, uh, of options to, to do every day. He can take a breakfast, he can go to the street, he can cross the, the street and sometimes die because he didn't look and a, a truck uh, pass over him or all this kind of thing. He need to, he wanted to, to recover the, the feelings of the love of the, of the woman. So uh, he, uh, he tried to do a lot of action to, to recover his, his love uh, with, with this woman. But all the time, uh, and, uh, and it's very important, he remembered the previous day, so he can take the decision based in the previous state of, of, the, of the previous days, okay? And this is informal learning. Every time you, you have a situation, you have a, a, a state, you need to take a decision that what I need to do now, try to cross the, the, the street without looking, looking ahead in, in the left way and that is a, an action, but if you know that a very fast track will pass over you, you try to say, ah, I will stop for one second, three seconds, and I will not die. And all this time, all these days, is, a, is the way that an informal learning learn. It's just a funny way to to define this. I will, I will not do another demo, but uh, this is the ASCIR is uh, the way uh, I like to to see my uh, the, the information of the game. Bill Murray, my my great buddy Miguel Angel sent me this memory fail. Uh, I have I got and and thank you very much, Miguel Angel. Miguel, he preferred to to call him Miguel. It's a long story. So, what is the VATIAR formal learning strategies? There is a lot, one. There is a lot, and it's very interesting to, to one of the, the reasons I, I, uh, because I decided to start this project was about learning uh, about AI. So, we start in uh, using very basic, a uh, strategy just to check the, the code, just to check the first uh, agent, the pipeline, and you know, all the things. So for for us, for the team, it was very important to to uh, learn a, a lot in the, in the way. For me, it's a, a class, uh, it's, it's my life, it's the history of my life, try to learn new things. And in this case, we, when we started the, the, the project, we don't know nothing about reformer learning. And I can say now that because I, I, I'm very proud of the, uh, the, the big thing I, I learned. I know that I need to learn, learn a lot of things more, but we started with simple things like random. I can see you that with a random strategy that just choose an action, you will never be so lucky, lucky to to solve the the game. Okay. The another next simple solution is to try to use Q table. With Q table, you make a very big table with all the options. You can go ahead, left, right, stay in the same, whatever, and you start in playing and say, uh, in the first second, I stay. Okay. In the second uh, uh, action. I will move ahead, and you are filling this table with the values you are going, you are taking from the game. So when you start a game, you know what is almost the, the best path. Okay? The problem is that when you have uh, when you have a table with ten elevated to ten thousand action. Uh, multiply by, by, by 10 different action, it's a very huge table. So this is a, another solution that does not work even to just go out of the, of the first room of the game, okay? The next one, and there is more 
Morosian, but we are a little short of, of time, was using Q learning. Okay, this is, and there is a lot of strategies, different strategies, and, but in general, the thing is to try to not uh, fill a bit table, just to try to a uh, model to uh, with the uh, information uh, uh, from your training games. Okay, so at the end you can have a, a, a deep learning model that know what happened when you are in the second round and try to go ahead and and whatever or with the bells start to ring. You you need to go to the chapel because if not dies, all this kind of thing can be put into a deep learning model uh, and you can uh, get uh, this model train it with a uh, play a million of the game, but you don't need to have all the possibilities, just the uh, the model learn the the difference, the difference solution. Okay. Even we now the last version we had in the G Hub, we have a a, a, a G Hub is about a Muthero. Muthero is a deep uh, uh, deep mind uh, project. This is very amazing because you don't need to to tell to the artificial intelligence what's the rules of the game. You only need to to get the, the artificial intelligence the lagar action and he knows how to, uh, to learning like humans, uh, how to learning the, the rules of, of the game, okay? I want to show you some of the thing, um, and this is very important because we had two dockers. One of the dockers had the game and another docker had the, the agent, and we are all the time with Kubernetes. We are running all the time games and are uh, reset, uh, resetting again and, and playing to to or, or starting again in in the middle of, of another room or uh, another uh, game. Uh, can replay this game again and again and again. And for this, we use a, a very, very small pin table Kubernetes uh, cluster with a very small machine because we want it to stay in a very, very low budget and, and spend about 15, uh, 15 euros uh, uh, at the end of the month. So we are uh, we use a lot of, of things with uh, with Google Cloud to to implement this. Okay, this is the the loop uh, I was talking about. We had a, a queue with a Cloud Pass up that had the information. What what is the next game we want to to play? We uh, play game and, and store us this in in game six point, and we have it game generator that's uh, uh, in queue. The uh, next game we wanted to play, and this is an infinity loop, okay? So I will pass this very fast. We use Kiras, Google Cloud, love. We are using Kubernetes and, and containers, love. And we have, of course, a G-Hack with, you can follow the, the the code without any problem. You can uh, send pull requests if you wanted to, or you discover one bug or more because we have bugs and we need to improve them uh, for sure. Um, for for us will be a, a place we have even a, a, a Slack channel. This is the team, this is Sebas, the, the first one that uh, made me do the, the project and the first one in, in joining the team, Pablo Moncada, Miguel Martinez, and, and me. There is more people, but all the time I forget to include more people, but this is the thing. Uh, now we started uh, one month ago on the, the Abadia project, the movie, yeah, and will be a, a book. 
And here is the takeaway. Don't over engineering. Everything is about data. And, and I am not only I am the unique person that say that. Two months ago uh, was a, a very good and interesting post about from uh, Andrew and Jijin, NG uh, about this, the Mario, the Mario cap that is of hat that is very important. Serverless is everything. Uh, Reformer learning is sample, powerful uh, and easy. And there is a lot of tools that I had not enough time to, to show how we use this tool, but there is a lot of tools. And um, okay, that is that's all. Here is my Twitter. I try to, to Twitter every day to or, or three interesting link. This is my address. And the more important is the uh, small letters. This tool has a free question, lifetime warranty. You have any question now, today is in the future or whatever you wish, you can try to contact me and make the question. And I will be so happy to, to solve this. And before COVID, we make a, a little set time with everybody and, and just smile if you if you like a tutorial, and if not, you can even put your, your hand in, in your eyes. And that's all.